My name is Alice Mara and I live in Worthing. I'm a new person to Worthing. I'm originally from Walthamstow um, and I've been making ceramics for probably over 30 years now. Um, yeah, did my degree in pottery, which was fantastic. And then I went on to do my MA at the Royal College of Art. And ever since then, I've been combining printmaking with ceramics to produce quite photographic works. So the proposal that I put in was to make uh, a body of work that was about the community and about people's memories of buildings. So I didn't want, I just wanted normal buildings of Lansing um, that people had sort of visited and had a memory, not, not any, I didn't want to have any elaborate memories, just normal everyday things that happen. So I managed to gather four quite good stories about four buildings um, around the area and I produced, I took photos of the buildings and then produ reproduced them and then added into the, into the mix kind of narratives of the stories that people gave me. Um, so, for example, on the Luxor Cinema Building, it's a fantastic building, and somebody was telling me that they remembered queuing up as a kid and to see the Elvis film. So you'll see on my little sculpture that I've made the building kind of exactly how it is. Um, I've saturated the colours a bit, but I've put imagery of um, kids from the 60s lining up and a lovely poster of Elvis on the side. So that's the story, really. So after I created them, um, the great thing was, because I've never done this before, they, they were going to be outside, uh, which brings a lot of challenges as well, because I've never made work for outside, but obviously I knew that ceramics is quite good for being outside, uh, but it was how could I um, secure the pieces to, to the location, which was in the fantastic Brooklands Park. Um, so I managed to find a really good adhesive that, that has uh, worked for months and months, so that's great. Um, so yeah, the, the lovely little buildings are actually just down the road from where the real buildings exist. So that's a real lovely, lovely story. People can come and see my buildings and go and see the real buildings afterwards. Well, I hate doing applications. My spelling is so bad. <laughs> Um, but it actually, it was really easy from what I remember. Yeah, it was online, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was easy, uh, very straightforward, not too long. Um, yeah, I managed to do it and I got the, got the grant, so it must have been okay. Oh yeah, you know, I did. I got quite a lot of interest from people that wanted, that obviously looked at my Instagram and said they wanted their house done. I, I, you know, and I, I think I got two or three actual commissions from it. And also I met with one of the people that commissioned me. We had mutual friends, so we met for coffee. So I made a friend out of it as well, <laughs> which was really nice. I've got loads of ideas. What I'd really like to do is I've got a connection with Wolverhampton and I'd like to do a similar project there um, and maybe a couple of other museums might have a budget for me to do a similar. I wouldn't do the same thing but now I know I can place things outside successfully and I think there's quite a few elements. So for example I made a map of the park that showed where the buildings were so that's something I could recreate and the QR code thing on the tile could be recreated so I think I could do this project in other places really easily I would definitely tell people to apply for the creative commissions because it's quite an easy process you know and if you if you don't get it it doesn't matter I mean I get rejected all the time from things and that's fine um, but yeah, it's a really good, for me as well, because I've just moved to Worthing. It was a, quite a nice way to meet local people. So it was real coming together of people. 